I'll put this, the chords up at the top of the screen right now so you know what chords you have to press and what notes they make up. Um, it should be easy enough given that there's little movement in your, in your hand to do to press each chord. It's just remembering what the chords are and getting that rhythm going. Once you've got the rhythm going then you should be fine. Alright, I'm going to teach you very quickly how to do the main bit of the tune. I'm not going to teach you all of it. Um, needless to say, you can easily look this up on Google if you just type in um, notes to We Found Love and you'll find it. Even if you can't read music, um, there is... If you, if you can't read music but you know what I mean by pressing an F sharp note, uh, give me a message and I'll send you a link to the site which has actually got all of the notes. Um, so yeah. So, the first bit, the yellow diamonds in the light, you're all playing it around this sort of place on the piano. Okay, so the yellow diamonds bit starts on here, so it goes, and you're not moving far each time, you're just moving up or down and, and not normally. So the bit, first bit goes, yeah? So if you just, right? Yellow diamonds in the light, like that, right? One more time. Okay, the next bit, and we're standing side by side, is similar. The first four notes are similar, the same, so it's G, A, A, F, all sharps. But now it goes B A F, and when I say B A F, I mean A as in A sharp and F as in F sharp. I'm just sort of saying it for short. So it's B A sharp F sharp. So that's a side by side bit. So it goes yellow diamonds in the sky or in the light or whatever, and we're standing side by side. Yeah. The third bit, um, as your shadow crosses mine, is the same as the first bit. And then the fourth bit, what it takes to come alive, is actually is the same bit as the, and we're standing side by side. But then it continues on to this. A come alive. So I'm just going up the black notes. Now this is the hard bit, I suppose. Um, it's the way I'm feeling. I just can't deny. So you start with the C sharp down here, and you're moving up to the C sharp next to it. So use your thumb and your little finger. It's the way I'm feeling. Yeah, so you're just going down the keys, if that makes sense. We're starting from here. It's the way I'm feeling. Yeah? And then you repeat that bit. I just can't deny. So you're sort of going down, and then you're starting from the B again. Deny. If you can't remember the notes, it's normally like I say, up or down, one note. So if, if you so just sort of go across, go up and down, if you don't know which note exactly it is from here, if it's this one or this one, it's most likely to be this one because it's one down. <coughs> Excuse me. So. It's the way I feel and I just can't deny I, And then But I gotta let it go And then you're just going down the night But I gotta let it go Yeah? And then the bit, the actual We found love in a hopeless place is very similar to the beginning We uh, we found love in a ho oh hang on. We found love in a hopeless place. We found love in a hopeless place. It's the same bit as the verse, okay? Effectively, that's all you need to go through the song because you know what it's like in that little verse bit. You know what it's like in the in, in the in the bit before the chorus, and it's really just a mixture of those sort of notes. So just keep going with that. And when you get confident, you can actually put the two together. Now I'm. This is I haven't. I've only learnt this song today myself, so I'm not going to be the best at this. But I'll give it a go. Um, I'm actually using um, just my my laptop here just to come up with things. So how did it, it started off? 
with the F uh, cheese, yeah. So, yellow diamonds in the light. Like that, okay? And we stand side by side, yeah? So, when you do. You might have to move your hand down, I don't know, or if you, if you end up playing like this, you just let the thumb. You just press the two with your left hand, you use your right hand to press that thumb. But, um, yeah, so the bit that goes. etc. If you want to add embellishments, it's a difficult thing to teach how to do embellishments. What I mean by embellishments is that. I've taught you how to do it where you're pressing the, the chord, so it's one, 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 which can sound a bit boring, basically. Um, the way I tend to do embellishments is I, I my technique, which is changes song by song really, it's nothing special, is I tend to press the chord and then I press the middle note, like that. So if I'm doing... Etc. Okay, that's the thing that if you're more a more uh, intermediate level that maybe you can do that. But if you're just learning, stick with the one 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 thing. And once you get more confident, then try and put an embellishment into it. Keep practicing. It's going to take time. It's not an easy song to learn just because it's. Fast, basically. But you've got to remember, it is a pop song. It's, it's, sorry, it's not a pop song, it's a dance song. You know, so it's going to be, it's quite a lively song. So this, so it's quite good to have a a, a fast and like, you know, a, a good high beat, high energy um, style to it. Um, which is why I find this kind of embellishment works quite well with this song. Or how, you know, however the, the sequence goes. Um, it it works quite well. Rather than rather than that kind of thing, but like I say, practice just using one um, press per go. Um, remember what I said about the the tune earlier. Just go back and visit what I just said. Um, take your time. Practice really slowly. If you need any more help, just give me a message, private message. And I'll give you a link if you really need uh, note by note what they play. I'll give you that as well. Um, yeah. Uh, so there you go, guys. That's the tutorial done. Um, I hope you found it easy enough to follow. And I hope it was enjoyable as well. Um, like I say, if you, the way to do this is just to take it slowly. So you've got those four chords now. Just practice those slowly. Make sure that you can do them all at a pace which suits the... Uh, style of the song and also just be able to go between one to the other quite smoothly and like I say if you've got any issues with uh, either the chords or the melody just give me a message and I'm more than happy to answer with some um, help on that. Um, like I say if you like the tutorial please give me a like um, or a comment, rating and subscription all of these things will really help get my views up in the search listings um, and will make me do more of these videos uh, I've done a couple of Adele ones in the past that you can check out and they seem to be pretty popular. Uh, so just go on to there. Uh, and like I say, I love receiving all of your feedback. Tell me what I'm doing right. Tell me what I'm doing incorrectly. You know, I want to make these tutorials the best tutorials possible. Be the first ones that you go to on YouTube. Um, uh, and anything you can tell me um, will really help. Uh, message me with um, suggestions for other tutorials to do other covers to do and all that kind of stuff. All of that really helps. Um, so have a good day you guys. Uh, give that tutorial a go. Uh, I'd love to hear how it came out for you. Alright? Speak to you soon. Have a good day. Bye bye.